Genetics is the study of heredity. Heredity is the passing of traits from one generation to the next. Let's take a look at what traits were passed on to you. Are you able to roll your tongue? Or does it stay flat no matter how hard you try? Is there a gap between your earlobe and your head? Or are your earlobes attached? Think of your front teeth and how they looked before braces. Was there a gap between your front teeth? Do you have dimples on your face when you smile? Lastly, look at your toes. Is your second toe longer or shorter than your big toe? These are all traits or genes you have passed on from your parents. Mendel is considered the father of genetics. He worked with garden pea plants as they have seven main characteristics and were simple to cross-pollinate and grow new generations. To keep track of generations in genetics, we use P, F1, and F2. P stands for parental cross. F1, first filial generation. And F2 is second filial generation. To help you understand, let's look at this from the point of view of Ross from the TV show Friends. His parents are Jack and Judy, so they are the P generation. F1 is their children, so Ross and Monica. Now F2 would be their biological children, grandchildren to Jack and Judy. In this example, Ben and Emma go on this line. All right, let's get back to Mendel. From his experiments with pea plants, he figured out the rules for genetics. There are four rules we call Mendel's laws. Number one is the law of unit characteristics. This states that traits are controlled by genes which occur in pairs one from each parent. Remember meiosis? You get genes from your mom and your dad. Genes are units of instruction and are found on your chromosomes. There could be a section of your chromosomes that say develop muscles in the tongue so it can roll. This is how you can roll your tongue. You have the gene. So does your dad and he passed it on to you. Alleles are alternate forms of the same gene. In that same spot on your mom's chromosome, it says, don't make extra muscles in the tongue. It doesn't need to roll. So your dad has the allele of the gene to roll his tongue, but your mom has the allele to not roll. If you got both alleles, why are you able to roll your tongue? That's where the next law comes in. Law of dominance. There are dominant and recessive alleles. The dominant form of a trait prevents the expression of the recessive trait. It overpowers it. To tell the difference, we write dominant alleles as a capital letter and recessive as lowercase. So our tongue rolling gene has the allele to roll or not roll. Being able to roll your tongue is a dominant trait, so we give it a capital T. Not rolling your tongue is recessive, so lowercase t. It is the same gene, so we use the same letter. As our genes are in pairs, we have the option to have two capital T's, or dominant alleles, two lowercase t's, recessive alleles, or one of each. If they're the same, it's called homozygous in genetics. Homozygous dominant, and this is homozygous recessive. If there is one of each, it's called heterozygous. These different combinations of alleles for a gene is called genotype. We can't see a person's genotype just by looking at them. We have to either test a person's DNA or track traits for multiple generations like Mendel did. A phenotype you can see. The phenotype is the trait that shows. 
Looking at our three genotypes, these two would have the phenotype of being able to roll their tongue. They have the dominant allele to roll their tongue and it overpowers the recessive if it's there. This one, however, would have the phenotype of not rolling their tongue as they don't have the rolling tongue allele. So looking at our list from the start of this video, any recessive trait you show, you will know you have the genotype of two recessive alleles. The third law is the law of segregation. When gametes are being formed, a pair of genes separate and the gametes each have one gene. See the video about meiosis for a review if you need to. Lastly, the law of independent assortment. This law applies to a specific type of genetic cross and will make more sense when we get there. But it states genes found on different chromosomes separate independently during gamete formation. This is saying if the gene for rolling your tongue is on chromosome 2 and the gene for a longer second toe is on chromosome 19, they will separate differently during meiosis. Just because you can roll your tongue doesn't automatically mean your second toe will be longer. They're separate genes. Now that we better understand Mendel and his laws, we'll start looking at genetic crosses in the coming genetic videos. <laughs>